Hello, thanks for stopping by. Uh, this is just going to be a short video on how I did the recapping on the uh, electrolytic for the Heathkit AR2. In the uh, last video I showed you that I'd taken and found it in, uh, nice skinny caps, you know, that were a lot, lot thinner than the uh, usual uh, 22 microfarad, 450 volt caps, and how well they took and matched up to take and fit into the, the uh, small electrolytic can. So what I did, first thing I did is I took it and uh, used a uh, cutting disc on a Dremel and took and cut uh, just above where the uh, large diameter is on the bottom there, uh, right next to it. I found that on these caps, in it, that large diameter is usually a thick rubber seal, and it, that's what it was on this one too. Then uh, once I got that cut all the way around, I took the, uh, the hot air from my uh, soldering station set it about 250 degrees and just kept heating the can up, heating the can up, and uh, finally it, the inside just all pulled out, as you can see here, and the inside of the can was remarkably clean after that. And I took and, uh, you know, cut the leads off the bottom, so that was separate. Then I took and I drilled a hole just to the outside of each of the solder lugs all the way through and also drilled a fourth hole near the edge for the ground wire to come through. The ground on the original can is uh, aluminum tab that's uh, crimped into the steel ring. So you have to take and uh, run a ground wire out and hook it onto the steel ring in order to ground the capacitors. Then I took and uh, soldered the uh, negative connections, you know, twisted and soldered the negative connections on all the uh, capacitors together. soldered a uh, jumper wire from that connection on, you know, to uh, be able to bring the negative out. And then took and fit it down through the holes, and then they came out spaced real nice, I mean, perfect. Now, I also, in the... Uh, three tabs on the bottom where the uh, uh, wires connect to the electrolytic, I took and I drilled holes through the side to them to take and feed the cap wires through and solder them on. When I had it just like I wanted it then, and I took a uh, hot glue gun and took and ran a uh, bead of glue between the large capacitors and also gluing the small capacitor to the large capacitor. I ran that through on both sides. That made it all nice and solid. And then just slid the can on and hot glued the, the uh, top of the can to the base. And along the way, of course, I had taken and, you know, checked to make sure that the uh, uh, capacitance was okay. And then after it was all assembled, checked it again and still found it to be okay. And that's all there was to it. That was a real simple one. And uh, it came out perfect. So I hope that helps anybody taking and trying to do it. 
like to thank everybody for stopping by. Have a good day.